In many of our interviews this year, we attributed the 2023 stock market strength to be largely driven by the Federal Reserve's success in bringing down inflation. Investors are now realizing that the biggest long-term headwind for stocks, the Fed, and inflation are probably no longer a threat, and that the Federal Reserve is actually finished with its rate hiking campaign. Heading into 2024, many analysts are relatively bullish on the outlook for the economy and the stock market. Now, elevated interest rates will likely weigh on economic growth, but the Federal Reserve is projecting US GDP growth to remain positive in the coming year. Here, Matt Caruso shares his views on this positive outlook for stocks and shares his top selection of stocks heading into 2024. So uh, thank you, everyone. As we as we step into 2024, I think it's important to start looking at who can really lead next year. This year has been a clear win for the mega cap for all of FANG and all of the big cap stocks. I personally view 2024 as as having significantly different trends. This is going to be, I think, uh, driven by the dramatic changes in the fixed income market. We see bond prices rallying. I think the highest of yields are in the market. And I think this is going to have profound effects as to how money rotates within the, the market itself. So uh, I am bullish for the general indexes going into next year. I think lower rates will continue to support higher prices. But I think the greatest action is going to happen underneath the surface. So I, I believe 2024 is going to be the year of the turnarounds. So whereas this year people were extremely focused on companies who could survive a weak market or be able to have uh, pricing power to pass on inflation. I think 2024 is going to be about investors looking at underappreciated assets. Um, there are some assets, some stocks that have been uh, dramatically sold off during this bear market, which are still doing fantastic. I think they will lead in 2024. Uh, one, one of the first stocks we can take a look at is Square, uh, so Block rather, symbol Square. If you take a look at the stock chart, we are still significantly off of our 2021 highs. I mean, 2021 highs were almost $290 a share. We fell as low as 41. Uh, this has been a very sizable rally into year end as we've come off of what were uh, improving earnings. But what has me most excited about this stock is if we take a look at forward estimates, if we take a look at what earnings have done in the past, and we look at the uh, forward estimates for the stock, you can see in 2021, when the stock made its highs, we were looking at about $1.71 is what was reported for, for Block. This year, we're looking at $1.94, and that's going to be accelerating up to $5 a share in the next three years. So although I view this as a, um, although I view this as a growth story, I think this even as a uh, value play is something significant. We could have significant, tremendous upside. So, so Block is a stock I'm watching very closely. You can see the number of weeks in a row that we have up off of the bottom. The irony of stocks uh, that show extreme strength is that most investors view it as overbought and maybe in the short term, but that extreme strength, that um, continuous nonstop buying is a clear sign of institutions buying stock. They're the only ones with the buying power to put in that kind of continuous buying. And so if there are, if there is any kind of pause and block, I view that as viable. I think that could have be a significant winner in uh, 2024. It's also aided by the fact that Jack Dorsey, founder, is back as CEO, which can be a great help to the turnaround story. Next up is something very similar. If we take a look at Shopify, uh, they were kind of going head to head with Amazon when they tried to get into the delivery part of the business and the fulfillment. They've now realized that's not the place to go. Uh, it's very similar to, to Square. If we take a look at Shop's forward estimates. Despite the stock trading uh, way off of where it was in 2021, you can see, yes, 2022 was a difficult year as they kind of went through restructuring. But we can see we're back in 2023 with record earnings, and that's going to be climbing from $0.69 cents to $1.50 over the next two to three years. So I see tremendous strength in earnings. I think it's an underappreciated growth story. They're a significant player in a significant space. And I think this will continue to see a bid going into next year. Uh, one sector that I think is not necessarily a turnaround story, but I think is really uh, benefiting from key themes with AI. Everyone is focused on NVIDIA, uh, which, you know, rightfully so they, with all their chips that they've, they've done that are supporting the AI infrastructure. But I think one of the clear benefactors, if you can think of not only the benefits of AI, but the potential risks where you can think of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, pretending to be somebody else, using that for security uh, risk within companies. If you take a look at cybersecurity stocks, such as Palo Alto, we can see we're trading at all time highs. We have been for uh, quite some time. This was the first to kind of break to new highs at the start of this rally. 
I think this is going to be one of the leaders along with CrowdStrike. You can see there's immense group strength. I think they're underappreciated. I think they're going to be leaders in the AI story with the AI theme. And these are two stocks I'm watching very closely. I think they can be real winners within the space and they're underappreciated. So this, those are four key themes. Uh, three of them, Shop Square and Precious Metals, specifically Silver, I think are can be viewed as turnaround. They're going to be supported by falling interest rates. And I think uh, the cybersecurity space is all-time highs in, in Palo Alto. And, and that's just being supported as, I think, um, one of the key themes that are going to benefit from AI as companies need to focus on cybersecurity in an era where everything can be faked and everything can be um, uh, ramped up with the help of uh, AI.